Welcome to another episode of Twisted Faith, where we delve into some of the darkest and most chilling stories. Today we are exploring the Silent Village. Once, nestled deep within a secluded valley, there lay a forgotten village known as Silenceville. The villagers of Silenceville had a peculiar custom. They never spoke. Generations had passed since a word was uttered within the confines of the village, and the silence was as much a part of their lives as the air they breathed. The origins of this eerie silence were shrouded in mystery. It was said that centuries ago, a traveling storyteller had arrived in Silenceville, spinning tales so mesmerizing that the villagers stopped speaking, captivated by his words. As days turned into weeks, the storyteller continued to enthrall them, weaving tales that seemed to come to life. Then, one night, the storyteller revealed his true nature. He was no ordinary man but a malevolent spirit that fed on the voices of the living. As the villagers sat in mute terror, he absorbed their voices one by one until Silenceville became the eerie, silent place it was today. The storyteller disappeared into the night, leaving behind a village cursed with eternal silence. This chilling legend was passed down through the generations, etching itself into the collective memory of the villagers. The silence became a way of life, a defense mechanism to prevent the return of the malevolent spirit. One stormy evening, a group of curious outsiders arrived at Silenceville. Intrigued by the legend, they had ventured into the valley seeking answers. Among them was Emily, a fearless young woman with a passion for unraveling mysteries. The moment they set foot in Silenceville, the silence enveloped them like a heavy fog. The villagers watched them with wary, silent eyes, their faces etched with the weight of centuries of secrecy. Emily, armed with a notebook and an insatiable curiosity, approached an elderly villager named Eliza. Through a series of handwritten notes, Emily learned about the village's history and the malevolent spirit that haunted it. Eliza's eyes betrayed a deep fear, a fear that made her warn Emily and her companions to leave before nightfall. Ignoring the warning, the group decided to stay the night, determined to witness the return of the malevolent storyteller for themselves. They set up camp in the center of the village, their tents pitched in the eerie silence. As night fell, the air grew colder, and the atmosphere in Silenceville grew increasingly tense. Emily couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. She looked around and noticed shadowy figures moving in the corners of her vision, but whenever she turned, they vanished. At the stroke of midnight, a bone-chilling wind swept through the village, extinguishing their campfire. In the darkness, the storyteller emerged from the shadows, his ghostly form illuminated by an ethereal, otherworldly glow. He began to speak, and his voice was a haunting melody that seemed to resonate with the very souls of those present. Emily and her companions were paralyzed by the sound, unable to move or make a sound. The storyteller's words wove a hypnotic spell, drawing them closer and closer. Just as it seemed they were on the brink of surrendering their voices, Emily remembered Eliza's warning. With sheer willpower, she broke free from the enchantment and screamed, her voice shattering the spell. The storyteller howled in frustration and vanished into the night, leaving behind a shaken group of outsiders. They quickly packed their belongings and left Silenceville, never looking back. Silenceville remained a silent village, but its residents had witnessed the power of speech that night. Emily's scream had broken the curse, and the villagers, inspired by her bravery, began to speak again, gradually reclaiming their voices. The malevolent storyteller never returned to Silenceville, his curse broken by a single scream of defiance. Emily's visit had brought a glimmer of hope to the village, a reminder that even the darkest of legends could be conquered with courage and resilience. As for Emily, she continued her adventures, armed not just with her curiosity, but with the knowledge that some mysteries were best left unsolved, and some stories were better left untold. Me stories were better left untold. Thanks for tuning in to Twisted Faith. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and turn on notifications. We release new videos regularly, diving into the most captivating and bizarre stories from around the world. Bye for now.